Somebody's in trouble. This can't be good. The boss is back. Wait for it. Wait for it. when he does that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And his opponent, first, from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 205 pounds, Adam Cole. The leader of Undisputed Era. From a journey around the world to bursting on the scene at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3, Adam Cole is finally on the big stage where he's wanted to be all along. The mission statement has been very simple. Shock the system. You're gonna talk the talk, you gotta walk the walk, and Adam Cole has done everything in them some. Steve Austin once described him as fallacious inside the ring and on the microphone. I agree with the rattlesnake. Look for The Rock to bring it in this one right from the opening. It's time to go one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one with the great one. Well, we're looking at three of WWE's best going at it. Head to head to head in what promises to be an amazing match. Despite his busy schedule, the only thing that Bravo Bull wants to do now is play the SmackDown on his opponent. Hey, Corey, do you smell that? Firing a bleeding catchphrase to the great one. Smell what the rock is cooking. There, you made me say it. See, that wasn't too bad. Boom! Got the leg. Oh! Dragon Whip connects. Oh, look at it. The strength of the Undisputed Era group can be linked back to its leader, Adam Cole. The trio was built with specific elements in mind, and NXT has felt the wrath of these men from the moment they arrived. What a slam! Oof! We have to give credit where credit is due. The vision Adam Cole utilized to create the Undisputed Era was genius. Adam Cole knew exactly what was needed to invade NXT and earn big opportunities. Wow, you actually made sense, Byron. Congratulations. Adam Cole looked to men he knew as allies and enemies and united them for one common cause, domination. Oh, nasty impact. One of the most talked about events in NXT history was when Adam Cole and his Undisputed Era teammates shocked the sports entertainment world and appeared at the third annual NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Oh, man! Oh, Corey, he had loaded there! Oh, boy, he is good. When we talk about Adam Cole's appearance at the third NXT, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn Byron should point out it was more of an invasion. And by the way, the NXT Universe of the Barclays Center responded. They knew NXT would never be the same. Oh, give me a break. You two are so melodramatic. Adam Cole simply picked the best time to let the NXT Universe know that things were going to change. Personally, I commend it. This is not going to end well for Mr. McMahon. 
A man like that seems to have an endless store of energy. The Rock looking a little off his game right now. Adam Cole orchestrated his invasion of NXT to shock the system. But as we saw the night after NXT take over Philadelphia, for the creator of the Undisputed Era, that was just the beginning. The Extreme Rules match Adam Cole competed in against Aleister Black was brutality redefined. So when the buzzer went off during the 2018 Royal Rumble match the next night, no one expected Cole to be the 23rd entrant. Big trouble for The Rock. You mentioned something that begs repeating, gentlemen, and that's Adam Cole in the 2018 Royal Rumble match. Let's remember the response that Cole received from the WWE Universe on hand in Philadelphia, baby. Why do you say it's so weird? I'm really good at it, man. Anyway, he had a warm reception in Philly, which is one of the cities where Adam Cole made his name before coming to NXT. But his WrestleMania dream was dashed when he was eliminated by another surprise entrant, Rey Mysterio. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Damn it. Incredible. McMahon and it's Mr. McMahon with the reversal set him up Ooh, nice rush and nice sweep this might be it oh my not much behind that pin attempt the Rock's one of the greatest superstars the world has ever known. No way he goes out like that. Beautiful technique. Boom, what impact. How are these superstars even still going, guys? I mean, they have to be on fumes right now. Superstars are even still in this match is beyond me, especially given how intense the match has been. What a match this has been, guys, and it's starting to look like these superstars are beginning to feel the effects. He's making a statement here with this attack. Trap the arm. Oh, what a neck breaker. Oh, a tight drop. Uh-oh. Corey. A chairman stunner. That should do it. Can he do it here? And he got a near fall out of it. And we continue. Oh, he's got Mr. McMahon. Boy, is the WWE chairman in trouble now. What a stop! Good grief! You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. the pace of a match quite like this guy dominating shoulder tackle this can't be legal totally ruthless but effective oh boy he is rolling oh, nicely done and it's purely hard that's keeping Mr. McMahon in this match at this point there's a very chance he might not be able to recover from this here in this triple threat match. That's over at this point. The Rock. The Rock with a rock bottom. But can he follow up here? And a pin attempt. One, two, three.
The Rock has eyes to finish. And it's The Rock with the reversal. Now he punched impact. This crowd never doubted the, the Rock makes his presence very clear now. Oh boy, he is rolling. The Rock is up. And he does! Sharpshooter time! Sharpshooter locked in for The Rock! This one's over, guys! This is The Rock's chance. Can he pull it off? And The Rock picks up the win.